Hi guys, this is just a quick video to demonstrate you the capabilities of the PDF metadata editor. Let's start by opening the editor. You can see it's a really simple interface, just listing all the metadata fields that you have in a PDF document. If we open a document, I have here some uh, files I created earlier in Word. And you can see it doesn't have much metadata. I can add, for example, the title will be my greatest book. I can change the author to something more meaningful, add some keywords, novel, history, spooky, and so on. Click save, and that's about it. It's really simple. Now, uh, all of these fields, they actually uh, have a version in the XMP, for example, the document title, there is also Dublin Core title. And if you want to fill them also, you can just click Copy Document to XMP and you have them automatically copied for you. Also, you can, uh, if you don't want to copy it every single time manually, there is an option in the preferences where on save, you can say copy document or the reverse copy document to XMP or vice versa. And that's it now. Every time I click save, uh, the title, author, and keywords and the dates, create a will be copied to SMP. Another neat feature uh, that the editor has is um, the renaming of files. So, for example, now I, I have my metadata as I want it. And maybe I want to rename the file also to be to have more meaningful name. I can uh, open the preference again and uh, select the rename template. So basically, there are two predefined ones, but you can create your own. So for example, let's choose the author title. What this means is here the the bracket uh, doc dot author closing bracket bracket will be replaced with the author, the field that's in the author, the author field of the document, and the doc, doc, doc title will be replaced by the title of the document. And now I can just click save and rename, and voila, my PDF is named now as I want it. Another thing uh, that may be useful is that there is uh, default values. So, for example, here in the defaults, if you put any values, for example, I can put something in contributors. Something like, if we go a bit metaphysical, the great universal spirit that supports all. Uh, now, every time I save a document, whatever uh, field is not filled in here, will be copied over from defaults. For example, now I don't have any contributors here or anything, but if I click Save, this will be copied from the defaults as expected. Well, that's all for now. I hope you're enjoying the 